Hey, my boo babies. About to do another installment of Fly on the Wall. Huh. These readings, for the most part, are timeless. Um, I may make reference to something that's going on in the energy. Using the what's the vibes cards, the truth oracle, and the role oracle for this one. So this is for persons or situations you're currently dealing with. Um, get a sneak peek at what somebody else is going through, what they're looking at, what they're thinking about, who they're dealing with. I don't want to leave that part out. Oh. Oh, this is fucked up, Tor. Whoever this person is, they are going through it. <laughs> I mean, going through it. Okay, it's more than enough. Actually, got five of these. Five? Yeah, five of these. So this happened in the last one I did too. We got an extra card. Uh, chew. Deep thinking. Remember. Soft puzzles. Cold word. Um, deep thinking and remember is what I'm picking up out of that. So I will leave that there. This is, what the hell? Taurus. <laughs> Who have you given your loyalty to? So, if I'm understanding this correctly, it seems like your thing went off to find a new boo thing. That's the bay card from the What's the Vibe. They done ran off and found a new boo thing, except <laughs> said boo thing got a false identity. So, I'm going to guess that you and whoever this is towards you in separation and they're trying to get back to you that's this in sync card angel numbers synchronicities nature signs they're trying to manifest you back because they, they have stepped in a pile of donkey do and they're ready now they're ready so this is telling me risk it all leap of faith no regrets new endeavors um and we're going with the leap of faith and no regrets. This person is ready to come back to you now and risk 
whatever it was they weren't trying to risk in the first place. Uh, for some of you, this person may have been married or may be in the process of getting divorced. Uh, for others of you, this person may have been trying to duck and dodge child support on somebody, trying to kiss their ass, and in the meantime, made a mess of, out of whatever they were doing with you. At any rate, you're in separation. And so this is the inside view of what this person is dealing with. Um, they don't like this, whoever this is they're with, because... And whenever I see the word, I said this before, whenever I see the word commoner, I always think of Great Britain because to me, I may be asked wrong and I know somebody going to correct me. Uh, when I hear that term, if you're a commoner, what does that make anybody else? Royalty or aristocrat, but you're the commoner type shit. Um, and so that's the energy that I get. I'm not saying you're the commoner, Taurus. I'm thinking um, the energy that's coming back. Your person is looking at where they are, and they're trying to understand why. Well, how did they get here? Uh, regular people, regular citizen, every, everyday, ordinary. And ordinary is the word there. It's the last word on the bottom that's coming back because this is not. This person is beneath them now that they realize that whoever they were doing, whatever the third party <clears throat> is doing, they probably came off all fluff and hot and, whoo, it ain't wonderful if it's a guy, oh, I know, and I own everything type shit. And then when the person, your person got down to it, they realized they don't own shit, they don't know shit, they don't do shit. They mooch off of other people. That's what they do. And so that's where the slave car comes in. Um, oppression, liberation, change, struggle. I'm taking all of it. Um, I think your person is trying to liberate themselves. This could be, uh, for some of you, the, the, the baby father, the baby daddy, baby mama type shit. And, you know, maybe that person said, oh, I got this, I can do it. Then they realized your person was seeing you or seeing somebody or doing something other than with them and they just just straight ass clown. And so your, your person feels like they're just oppressed in this situation. And they don't know, you know, they, what the fuck? They don't know how to get out of it or uh, without having to sever the situation completely which then means for some of you, and I'm hearing this, some of you, this person is going to have to go to court, deal with child support and that whole nine. And I think they were trying to avoid some of that. Um, but yeah, they're, they're dealing with somebody that's just a straight tyrant. They may be, um, holding something over your person's head and they're just oppressive is the word there in the middle tyrant oppressive and centralized control oppressive is the word they may just be bearing down on this person and despite whatever your person is feeling about you um this of this third party don't care they give zero fucks about what's going on um This person, your person, they they want to come back. They want to win at all costs. This is what's underneath this. Okay, win at all costs right here. Champion. Victory, winning, conqueror, exemplar. Victory and winner. Conquer too. Yeah, conqueror too. Your person, they, you know, this is sitting up under the, the risk at all. Leap of faith. They want to win. And the hope is you. Wish, expect, desire. Um, your person is reflecting on how they got in this spot. You know, if you, if you notice, she's looking in a rearview mirror. You know, looking behind and, and trying to figure out how the hell, who the hell, what the hell. The Taurus, as far as you are concerned, let me pull some energy on you. 
just so we can get a gander how you looking at all of this. <clears throat> Lovers, <laughs> there's a two of cups, but that's not what fell out. It's the three of pentacles. Um, You're trying to master your own shit, Taurus, right now. You are a bit obsessive about this person. I think even though you may be in some, I'm pretty sure you're in separation, just judging by the rest of the energy that's on the board. Um, you, you may be obsessing because <clears throat> this may have you thinking, you know, what did you do? That would that this person would even consider <laughs> not coming back and getting into some mess. So there, there's the indication here that you're aware of what this person is going through, but um, you you really are kind of like the fuck, and that that might have you up at night. You might be obsessing on that. How um, it's probably an energy you don't want to stay in this situation as it is because your person is definitely trying to win at all costs they're going to risk it all to come back to you um you're going to have to probably let go of some of the the fantasy part of whatever your relationship is with this person um and just look at the raw facts for what it is you know they're dealing with a crazy ex or whatever the case is you, you need to look at that because within this is also decision making and making a choice. So some of you may decide, you know what, I'm good. <laughs> I don't need to deal with this shit. Be your friend, whatever, but I'm I'm ghost. I'm out on this one. Others of you with the three of pentacles, you may be just gonna decide you're gonna hang in there. And there's nothing wrong with either way. Um it's just a matter of you following your intuition and doing what's best for you, Taurus. Um, at one point because reconciliation card is here repair, cure, understanding, concession I'm taking all of it um, it feels like your person if they didn't understand it before they understand it now and this is why they want reconciliation um, for some of you, depending on who you are dealing with, they are from another culture, um, even if they're from America, but they just are from a different place, you know, coming back to you, leaving <clears throat> somebody that, a family, basically, uh, there may be people that are going, oh, that, that's not good, that's taboo, you can't leave that, yeah, well, if the situation is not working, and it, you know, all of this heavy oppressive energy is here uh yeah get the hell out with the hell uh but there may be people that are advising against this even though they know the situation is toxic you know and see these are always the same people on the next 48 or the last 48 or whatever the first the first 48 is people always oh i know what happened and they were supposed to be such a happy couple yeah your dumb ass is sitting up here telling somebody to stay in a toxic situation. That's not going to work. Kids can pick up on that energy. And I can hear that conversation for some of you. Um, your person is, is having this conversation with family. You know, where are you supposed to stay? Not if you are on the brink of beating somebody down because they keep messing with you or bullying you or oppressing you. Um, I think for your person, there is some emotional immaturity that's going on um, and they may have tried to rekindle because you or your situation with them didn't work out 
they were going to try to rekindle something if this is not a new person like i said it could be a baby mama baby daddy whatever um and now they're kind of kicking themselves like what the hell was i thinking so yeah they want to reconcile and they have hope that this is going to happen um let me pull some granny cards and see what the advice is for the bully, 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 bully. Your person has been doing a lot of thinking. If you haven't, if you've been in just kind of lightweight communication, don't think they're out doing anything else but living, you, you are living rent free in their brain. And they're trying to figure out how to make all this shit. They're very hopeful. This whole card ain't no joke. They are very hopeful that um, you will forgive whatever and ride this out with them. But I don't know, Taurus. You know, with this lover's card over here, that lets me know you are definitely thinking about not staying. <laughs> so, just saying. All right. I don't care that a bunch of these came out. The more information, the better. That's what I say. So take time for yourself. First card up. Let some of this shit go for a minute and take time for yourself. Do something you enjoy, whether it's smoking cigars or listening to classical music or a glass of wine or just sitting and looking out the window, whatever it is. Take some time for yourself. Go and have a good time. Your, your, your tribe might be trying to get you out of the house and you stomping around looking all crazy, bull. Go ahead and go out. Have fun. If you're over here in America, it's the holidays. So, you know, find a reason. You ain't got to celebrate nothing, but go celebrate. Just saying. You can do better. This is the second time this card has popped out this evening. You can do better. So, um, this is not to say that if you get with this this is going to be the end of the world. It certainly isn't. But Spirit is saying, you know, you can do better. Let them do the talking. So whenever they try to make this reconciliation with the card on the board, when they come back, you shut up, boy, and listen. I think you will hear when it comes to letting go of some of the illusion. If you listen closely, you, even to what they're not saying, You'll hear what you need to hear to solidify whatever choice you need to make for yourself. There are no excuses. And I'm going to take it that whatever's going on with your person, um, some of you are in this, this King of Swords, Queen of Swords energy. There are no excuses. Fuck you, fuck that, and some other shit. You didn't have to do what you did and you slammed the phone down. Microphone dropped, boom. Um, if that's where you are, bull... Again, I'm going to tell all of you, whatever whatever stage of this you're in, whatever you're dealing with, follow your intuition. They're waiting on you. Um, and this came up in the last one I just did. There's this energy of them kind of waiting on you. The, I think in the last reading, it was start a conversation. This one, it's they're waiting on you. So... Um, If you think this is something you want to get into, or if you think there's a conversation that needs to be had, there's your sign. Go ahead and call them, text them, whatever it is you think you need to do. This tells it all. Make room in your life for the new. <laughs> yeah, that part. Make room in your life for the new. Um, some of you just need to, to leave this, whatever it is, because it's messy. Um, and some of you are beyond messy. So some of you need to just walk away from it. You know what the person is thinking and doing and how they're feeling and what they're trying to do, but you still may need to just go on and scrap, scrap this one and start over. Sometimes life will just do that to you. And then here's more backup for that. What are your options uh, for some of you? If you get back into this, if you do any kind of reconciliation with this person, what are your options? Are you moving in together? Are you going to stay in separate places? What's the, what's the plan? And so this is telling me, 
if, if you're doing that, you need to have a plan. If you plan on doing something else, look at your options. What are they? Do you have any? Some of you may be thinking you don't have any. I'm going to say what I said for uh, another reading. If you haven't been journaling, journaling is a good way to look at what you need to look at. Uh, and put some distance between yourself and the situation and wait for a few days and go back and reread what you've written so you can get some kind of clarity in terms of what you're feeling and, and what your options are, what you can do. My bull babies, love you. Bye.